Hello and welcome. Thank you for taking time to join me today. I am Morjax. This is Mordheim City of the Damned, and uh, we're playing some more Undead. So, first thing right off the bat, our uh, our Ghoul Powell has been renamed Odd Duck Andy by the request of one of our uh, one of my patrons, Bardon Garuda. Um, Odd Duck was one of our mercenaries who uh, didn't survive the ordeal, so now he has become a ghoul. And I've passed a couple of days here so Van Dark can recover from his uh, critical hit injury that he sustained. And uh, I couldn't fit Indelabel Bloodstein in here, so now she's just Delabel Bloodstein. Uh, we'll see. I, she's she's reappeared for now. I tried to adjust her uh, outfit, and I don't know if they've fixed that yet. Uh, it made her disappear at the end of last episode. She does have a longbow. I don't know if I'm going to use that or not. Um, she can get reasonably good at uh, ballistic skill. So let's go ahead and try before we start in. See, yeah, okay. It does not make her disappear, so that's good. And as you can probably notice, I am a little congested today, but doggone it, we've got some more time to play, so we won't let that stop us. Let's just go like that for now. I'll come back and I might tweak her uh, her outfit later on. Campaign. Okay, we got pillagers, we got scavengers, and we got vision of dread. I kind of like this. We're going to go scavengers. Because I'm not fond of strike teams. I mean, I've... Part of me feels a little bad because I picked the same I picked the same uh, missions, the same deployments every time because I don't like to be caught on the back foot. Um, you know, I, I hate being scattered and being strike teams is nearly as bad in my book. So I guess you guys will have to tell me if you get sick of the same deployments over and over and over or if it's just fun to see me play some more time. Um, I suspect perhaps it's the latter, but uh, I I am a coward and I am an opportunist, and so I will pick the uh, the deployment that suits me well uh, over and over and over, as you have seen me do. Oh, we're up on top. Yo ho! Drink up, me hearties. All right. It looks like we're up against a possessed war band. And there's not a lot going on down below there. Oh my goodness, look at that word stone. There's a bit over here as well. I want this stuff really bad. Can we see it from here? No, it's too far away. Alright, Flajorp is gonna be... Slightly back. Sure, we'll put... We'll put jar meal towards the front. Grave meat will also be towards the front. Clogging. Delabel. We don't want her like all the way in the front. Oh, and ah, duck Andy. And then Van Dark. We'll stick him right there. We're just gonna be running right up the wall here. We'll build a wall. And we'll make the possessed pay for it. Here we go. I can't see that wordstone pile yet, but it's I know it's down there. Watch well, it be all like little tiny wordstone piles. Let me just peek down here to see what we got. We got two mediums and a large down there. I'm gonna send Jaramil after that. I've had this cold that's been hanging on for like a week and a half and I've just been like hopped up on Dayquil for a long time and I don't know, it's that time of year. It's just hard to, hard to shake it. Okay, so I mean this is a little bit close and I'm a little worried about it, but honestly it's kind of worth sending a henchman after it.
All right, we're going to put grave meat so that he's got eyes on the courtyard here. Hopefully they will walk into the courtyard and see me and come down this way instead of going down south towards Jaramil. That would be kind of the ideal case. Oh, they got some wordstone. Where's that? That might have been right here. That might have been down here. I think it might have been down here. As I'm looking at it. Seems likely. Alright. Here comes Grigor. Our buddy Clawgain. So, uh... Game Night pointed out to me that the undead or the the zombies I think can have the largest movement of 11. They have I think they start off with like 4 or something like that, but they can have as much as 11 if you uh pump a ton into intelligence and like buff the heck out of them with your necromancer or two two different necromancers. It's just crazy. All right. Delabelle Bloodstain. We'll go right there. Yeah, I don't... Sorry, excuse me. Gracious. I don't know all the finer points of um, how that's done. I think you have to do uh, enough intelligence to get um, knowledge more time. And then you're, uh, you get the, there's a skill the Necromancer has that increases the movement. Uh, it's like, uh, shoot, I'm forgetting the name of it. Anyway, um, it increases the stats of an undead target. Uh, and you can, you can use the unmastered and the mastered version with, with two different, uh, two different Necromancers and push your zombie to its limits which is it's just kind of funny that they can be the the highest moving they're like marathon zombies sprinting zombies well i feel pretty good about our deployment so far i don't think i switched off my light arm or onto light armor here. I meant to do that, but I forgot to. <laughs> Just to get the extra movement. I I personally value movement quite a bit. Um I know some people like to run like really heavy armor all the time, but I li I like to I like the ability to move around. You can get better flanking, you can get better positioning, you can get to wordstone and and other things faster. And positioning is, is huge in this game. If you can started. position yourself such that you get superior flanking on the enemy, that's huge. All right, this is good. We've got, looks like two mediums, a large, and maybe three smalls. I'm looking at the wordstone pile up there. That's what I like to see. Okay, so here's the deal. I'm gonna grab this with jar meal. Here we go. On the off chance I can't get to that wordstone if we get chased off uh, and I have to bail, at least I've, I'll have gotten this warp warp stone. Wordstone. Sound like a Skaven warp stone. All right, we're gonna be careful of that trap. I really hope they don't find me here. It would seem that they have not found me. Because, oh, we did spot one guy, ooh. Yeah, I really hope they don't come get me. All right, Grave Meat is going to pull attention down this way. 
Where the heck are they? Holy smokes, I can't even see them yet. I'm actually pretty impressed. Good, good, good. Just run Quagain up here. He starts awfully slow. I mean, that's really the appropriate flavor for zombies. But it's just a bummer to have them. The zombies be so slow. Indelibel Bloodstein. You know what? I'm just gonna run her out here and see if we can't... I'm not gonna keep her out here. There we go. Kokel. But I just want them to see that I'm over here and not go after Jaramil down there. Can we make it to that wordstone? I better backtrack because we might be able to make it all the way to that wordstone. It's nice to have one unit that actually has decent movement range in uh, Madam Bloodstein here. Nice. All right, we can grab three of them. <laughs> so we'll put all the all the news that's fit to print, all the uh, best wordstone shards, with her. I like the little arrow quiver on her side because she's got a bow in the offhand. All right, that's fine. And unfortunately, we can't move off of the other ones here. So we'll go into an ambush. Man, the axes look really, or the halberds look really nice. Everyone else has rusty weapons, but the vampires have nice stuff. I really hope they don't find me down here. Poor Jaramil. It's really quite the brave adventure he's on. But for those large shards of Wordstone, um, I forget exactly how much Wordstone sells for. However... Uh, the large shards of Wordstone, especially early on in your campaign, are pretty much worth sacrificing or putting at risk one of your henchmen because it's 15 weight of Wordstone and it sells for, it sells for like three or something, so it adds up fast. Okay, then Dark's turn. And I don't think we're gonna be all the way, gonna be able to get all the way to Indelibel, but we'll be able to get most of the way. That will work. That will work. I'm a little worried we've only seen these two guys. I mean, I think they're. I feel like they're sandbagging it back, back behind. I do like that they're fairly spread out though. I mean, to be fair, we're fairly spread out. Not crazy, not too bad. A new round has started.
All right. We can delay here, but Delabelle won't be able to get out of the way fast enough. Whatever. I think we're just gonna park Flajorp here, and then he'll grab it next turn. And Jarmiel is gonna start bravely running back. Now here's a bit of a problem. I don't know if I can get through all this. And we're liable to make them see us if we climb through this way. If they haven't already. You know what? I, I would like to go check out inside this building because I have never been in here before. Looks like a search point on the up on the far side there. Does it? It looks like it does kind of send us down the other way. Possibly. It's a bit of a hike. I think I'm going to go down to. Do it like this. And head for that jump down point. I think that's going to be the most expedient. Grave meat. Now, let's see. We've got some wordstone just inside here. Do we want to go for that or start poisoning to fight? Why not both? Why not Zoidberg? Well, if anyone comes walking out of here, we'll tackle them. I'm just trying to set up my ambush in a way that I like. That'll work. Seems good. I hope they just come running out at me here, because I'm going to get bored waiting after too long. Alright, claw gain is going to be our eyes. Our disembodied set of eyes. Very, very good. Oh, hello. Inguas. And Gelris, too. Yo ho. Gelris is the one we've got to take down. A mutant. Man, Bloodstein. Sort of want to pull Delris here. Or Gelris, whatever. I'm going to do that. I'll pull him up this way so we can get maximum clown car. I mean, we could charge him, but I want to pull him a little closer. Fear, te fear test success. Ambush miss. Excellent. Excellente. And we're going to get two attacks off here, which is good. Nice arm ribbon, Delabelle. Madam Bloodstein. All right, that's good. Got her down to about half, half health. Uh, we took about a third of our damage as well, uh, but you know that's not too big of a problem. We should be able to get an ambush or a charge off here. 
Come on. Dang it. It was not the best chance, I will admit. All right, so we know that leader's going to be on us next round, which is fine. I feel pretty comfortable about where we are, and I think that they are spread out, more spread out than we are. Then dark. Just going to go snuggle up here. Terror test success. Dang it. Get out of here, Gelris. What a tool. And there it is. Nice quick work of him. Should be able to get some loot. Go ahead and grab the token. We'll grab the shield Objective too. What the complete. heck? Why not? And we'll stick him in the parry. The Luke Perry stance. The Katie Perry stance. Okay, so as long as we don't lead our, lose our leader, knock on wood, we're going to have the uh, marks for death optional. Alright, so their heroes are coming out to play. Got a Marauder and a Magister. A new round has started. Oops, I forgot we were right here, so we're going to grab this word stone. Very good. Here we go. Alright, their leader's coming up soon-ish. Can we pull him with Flajorp? Maybe we can. Maybe we can't. Not quite. Just trying to... Thinking about my... Orientation here. How I want it. We'll see if we can pull him after Flajorp here. I don't know if he's going to take the bait or not, but we'll try anything once. All right, we can't make it without, we can't wiggle our way over. So we'll just jump down here. Whatever. Good old flaming corpse right there. It's like the flaming lips, but corpsier. Yeah, this is a cool building. So Jaramil will be a little bit behind, but for one large word stone and two small word stone, I'm willing to kind of take the, take the hit. <clears throat> so actually, if we could, if we could ambush this guy, that might be kind of nice or maybe pull. I think I want to pull him instead of ambush. I think I want to have him charge me. Because um, we're going to be able to clown car onto him a lot better. So I'm going to just pull him straight out this way. There we go. The two-handed axe hurts. But uh, I think that's going to be a, a fair exchange to get the... Uh, ow! To get the clown car. Grave meat's hurting. I think Clawgain can get there. Nope. He's a slow zombie. Alright, we're gonna go like this. Try to get the charge. Nope. Okay. Well, if we can't do that either, we're gonna go over here. An ambush. Perhaps just to slow down our enemies. I will need to be a little bit careful around the uh, the other hero's charge radius. Ah, oh, grave meat. I'm sorry, buddy. 
All right, so that actually availed us pretty well to put claw gain right there. How are you gonna taunt a zombie? What even? Horrendous pain, self open wounds. That's great. Yeah, there's quite a bit of their warband that we have not seen yet around here. Um, and and we're pretty much all in one place, which I like. I don't think Grave Meat had anything on him. Fear test success. You're a jerk, you know that, Ingwaz? That'll teach you to mess with us. I kind of want to see what the, um, what the vampire thralls look like with, uh, light and heavy armor on. There it is. Oh, you brought me some word stone. Very good. Now, here's the thing. Odd duck could charge. But I kind of don't want to. Because that dude's going to get like two attacks off and then he's going to get two more attacks off at the end of the round. So uh, I think we're going to let Van Dark tank him with the heavy armor. And uh, okay. What? All right. If you say so. I guess I'm just gonna leave this dude. Try to take this dude out. Yeah, see, here's the thing, though. If you if you go into an ambush and you're overlapped like that, I can just circumvent it like this. So, Beckanel, get chopped. And he spent all his red pills on his ambush stand, so he can't. He doesn't have an answer to me. You'll take it and you'll like it. Beckonel. Let's see where this guy goes. Oh. Flajorp tacked him down. Oh, the miss. Wonderful. And the counter. Good job, Flajorp. And the counter. That was a very favorable exchange. I like that quite a lot. And we have all our people where we need them now for uh, for fight fight backing. That hump though. A new round has that hump though. Give him the chop dodge fail. Wonderful. Awesome. All right, so I'm recording this episode on Wednesday. I know I should have probably just said this at the start of the episode, but I'm recording this on. Uh, or and releasing it on Wednesday. Um, the plan is this Friday to stream Mordheim once again, as I have been doing recently. So if that's something you would like to see, I'd love to have you tune in. Let's see. I'd like, I want to get the charge off. And out of action. Get tricked. Wonderful. All right, Clogging, I'm going to send him around to loot. Not much, but we'll we'll take what we got. And then to Clown Car. Uh yeah, so if you guys want to, I'd love to have you tune in this Friday. Um we're going to be streaming Undead obviously because they're new and they just came out. And uh yeah. Hope to see you there. Protest failure. The day is ours. 
Okay, I want to put Van Dark in light armor, and I want to see what Indelibel Bloodstein looks like in light and heavy armor. It is by deed that loyalty to Count Vlad is made manifest. Your triumph proves your devotion to Drakenhof. When the legions of Sylvania march on... Your service to the master will not be forgotten. I certainly hope not. All right. Here we go. The gods are with you. Rank three, nice. A duck, Andy. Grigor. Flajorp. Full recovery. Good job, Grave Meat. Indelibel. Decisive victory. Here's what we got. All that stuff right there. Crossbow pistols, that's something I can totally use. All right, um, we've got, <clears throat> let's see, 30, 56 wordstone, if I'm counting right. Yeah, that was quite profitable. For fun and profit. No, I do not want to disband my war band. Get out of here. Okay. Here's the light armor. That's kind of cool. I like that reasonably well. Let's uh, strip him down naked for a moment into his tuxedo. So we can take a look at Delabelle. Light armor looks like a these. Holy smokes! She's like a... Total vampire fox. And the armor is slightly less... The heavy armor is slightly less revealing, but still boobtastic, apparently. Um... Let's see here. You're gonna get the light armor for now. The heavy armor does look really freaking badass, though. Let's just compare. Spell... Arcane spell casting chance. I don't know if that, uh... Affects us. Cumbersome and... Reduces your dodge chance and movement range as well. So his movement is seven. Where's Delabelle? There she is. Her movement is also seven. I'm, I'm gonna go to the market and see if they have any light armor for her because I want her to have some armor. Dang it, no armor. We could pick up some helmets though, that's probably good. 16 gold is not that much. All right, let's see what that looks like. Oh, you got the purple helmet, that's right. What the heck is that? That doesn't look good at all. It looks like I'm wearing a watermelon on my head. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, the axe sticking out of it, lovely. So basically that gives us a little bit of armor and some stun resistance. There you go. He looks like, uh... Who's the guy from, um, Monty Python that's always got the big... Monty Python, uh... Um... See, that looks cool. I like that. We can't see the nice roses in her hair anymore, but... It's, uh... It's a fair trade for some some armor. So her movement will only be five this way, which I think is maybe, uh, it's a little faster than our, our zombie, but not much. What the heck is this helmet? Come on, really? That's ridiculous. Is that like in the classic uh, design of of these guys or something? I don't know, I feel like, I feel like this looks a lot better. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'm going to call that an episode here and hopefully I'll be less congested uh, next time around. Uh, stay tuned for more Mordheim. I'm, I'm hoping to release another episode 
uh, tomorrow on Thursday, and then I'll be streaming on Friday is the plan. So I hope to see you then. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.